Hi, everybody. Hello. We're Hi. Back. We can Hello. talk now. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Yes, we, we should have a two-hour muted. We it's should good. just be muted for two hours. Just no, for two oh, hours. No. Just, just for two hours. We get in these windows, <laughs> not saying anything to each other for like so hours. Exactly. I'm sure oh, chat no. would be totally chill about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the rivals are turned into mimes, <laughs> and every enemy is a mime. Oh no. Uh, Roll initiative. <laughs> Actually, did you see me cast Vine Whip? Did you see that? Did you see that? that was? Yeah, that was, yeah, oh, that was Vine Whip. That was, was it thorny. Yeah. I was just going to yeah. ask if it was yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah, welcome to Rob's oh, Water Deep, y'all. Uh, <laughs> wow. Season 13, uh, as uh, trademarked by uh, Eugenio, our Penny Epi, mm. uh, our uh, Pen Ultimate episode this. of season 13, mm. episode 9. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I mean, the royalty money is uh, flowing, it's flowing in. Cause, yeah. Cause, cause, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I found a penny yeah. yesterday, so, you know, we've it's the penny Epi. Yeah. I mean, you agreed was... to be paid in pennies. So. That's right. Yeah. No, that was the feel, deal. You know, I just feel like we now can so counter, fun. we can retroactively counter sue the makers of EpiPen. Is that... <laughs> oh, yes. brilliant. Brilliant. For, brilliant. for backwards yeah. trademark. Copyright. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Great. <laughs> Let's see who these people are that are making all these all these pennies, all this royalties. All, all of them uh, pennies. <laughs> let's... Uh, I don't know. Is is uh, Latia back from Comic Con yet? I don't know if she's back. Know. Oh, oh, she just oh, Latia. Oh, oh, did, oh. Woo, we were worried you weren't gonna make it. I just I literally know. just I literally <laughs> just flew in. Like, oh I my goodness! Got home. Ignore oh, all of those arms tweeted tired? pictures of her in Chicago for the last couple of days. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no. You saw those nothing. were scheduled. Yeah. That wasn't home. Scheduled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah wasn't those are scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, it. Oh God. Who are you? Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. Oh, am I first in the rotation? Is that oh, yeah. 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 Yes, actually. I've been away for two weeks. I have no idea what's going on. How do I play D&D? &D? Uh, hi, I'm back. Uh, I'm Latia Jaquise. I play everybody's favorite Eric Okramog Tahani, whose pronouns along with mine are she, her. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm sued. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. I play Gazrik Nomarad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman druid construct. Our pronouns are he, him. All right, Brian. Hi everyone, I am Brian. I play Virgil, the uh, Storm Sorcerer. Sorry, um, ASMR Storm Sorcerer. I never get that right. Uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. Mine are he, they. Cool, Eugenio. Hi, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands, and I'm playing. I don't know why this is happening. I'm playing Kems. Uh, our <laughs> Thank you. I honestly I didn't know if that was voice mod or not. I, I did not. Know. I was like, whoa. You'll know. Like we make sure now that you never actually know. We That's just right. make sure That's now. Goal. That's the goal. I'm Eugenio. I'm uh, DM Jazzy Hands. I play Kent. Our what is he? Uh, Phantom Rogue Tieflin. A Southern gentleman. Uh, mm -hmm. Southern uh, wow. when he wants to be. Southern something. Uh, that's <laughs> all. My pronouns and his are he, him. Wait. Tanya. I don't know how I follow that. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Tanya Seifertier, your paladin ranger with a with a skosh of barbarian, mm. as we like to say around these parts. And uh, both Lisa's pronouns and mine are she, her. Hi. Right. And I'm Sharif. I'm your DM. Uh, he, him. Uh, also plays Shaka, Tiefling Warlock, he, him. Uh, various NPCs as well. Uh, why don't we talk about the Patreon? Hmm. Uh, so I'll throw it over to Brian. Uh, do we? Is that a? Do we? I guess apparently. We still, I guess uh, is that us now? I think that's you. All. How long have we yeah. been doing this? It's you now. Uh, At least oh, nine in a world so about where an hour. Rise of Waterdeep have a Patreon. Wow. I um. I, I don't know if I can follow that exact <laughs> voice, but oh my God, I will say close, that though. if you are not if you are not paying attention to the Rivals of Waterdeep content that they are producing at patreon.com slash rivals of waterdeep, you really should be. <laughs> For the reasons um, that you really should be, we're gonna add an accent to this voice and see what it sounds like on your end. Not really coming through very well. That's all right. Uh you <laughs> should drink as you can get DM notes. You can get after show recordings from us. <laughs> Y'all yeah, having to put it on real thick for the voice mod to catch it. Um, you can get DM notes and behind the scenes vidges of us. You can also get merch if you want to really support us on a high level. 
And uh, also, I saw someone in chat comment on the southern accent, and this all comes from growing up in the South, yo. I've been gone a while, but it's still in there. Anyway, join oh, the wow. Patreon. Patreon.com slash Rivals of Waterdeep. You sound like Brother Boy on, on like, the the sorted lives now i just i can't now i just see that voice myself. but yes absolutely <laughs> absolutely uh stay tuned you get after shows you get dm diaries you get um our updates and uh, you get a first listen to our podcast and um yeah it's it's a great honestly it's always a great day to to think about supporting the rivals but you know especially right now in this moment it's a great moment in this great day to think about supporting the rivals so again patreon.com slash rivals of waterdeep all right, that was uh, <laughs> very surprising. Uh, <laughs> once again, the 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 uh, accent in the voice mod. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really had to push it though for that voice yeah. mod to pick it up. Yeah, no, the, those, <laughs> those, 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 those are devs at a voice mod. Like, we didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is causing like a accent into an accent. Yeah, you know, like a rip in the yeah. space time continuum. Thing. We didn't get him into alpha testing now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, Masood, why don't you uh, share with us uh, some of those juicy ad reads? I would love to, and in honor of you, Henny, I'll also keep an accent going uh, as we're continuing. We'd like to give a special thank to our sponsors that help make our game oh so more awesome. We use D and D Beyond for our digital character sheets, access to book content, and you can check them out at D and D Beyond dot com. Bundle chat away, a bundle giveaway in chat, but you have to be here live to catch moments like this where I mess up. Our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood. Use the code RIVALS for free domestic shipping at wormwoodgaming.com. Beautiful handcrafted wood that you can find out more about at wormwoodgaming.com. We're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Oh, check them out at dieharddice.com for your and use the code RIVALS for 10% off to get anything that you need there. And if you happen to be looking for some geeky gear, some uh, nerdy swag, check out Stormcrow. They got all sorts of the nifty things available, including my mug. You might even get your chance to get your hands on it. Go to shop.stormcrow.com, Rivals, for 15% off there. And if you want to sound oh so silky smooth, like you're a man uh, who's sometimes from New Orleans with a great Southern drawl, you can check out Rivals Crew Blue Microphones at crew.bluemic.com slash rivals. And now we are honored to be partnered with Idle Champions by Codename Entertainment. Type exclamation point code for this week's free Electrum Chefs. And don't forget to unlock Shaka and Selyse in the game. And perhaps if you're a little bit more of a prospector type, you're into Warriors of Waterdeep. Type exclamation point wild jams to get free jams in game every week with all link. Want to learn more about Warriors? Oh, type exclamation I was wow to download and install Warriors on your mobile device. There's gold in that damn game. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and we're, oh, I, I'll just do this in my voice. Uh, no! Imagine, imagine what you could add to this with the brilliance and power of voice mod. We saw, we got a glimpse earlier with you, honey. I'm going to eventually download it and get into it, but I promise you it is worth it. Uh, it mainly, I'm just lazy and insulation on things. You guys <laughs> uh, We're going to move on. Uh, you can check out more about the chat. There's a, a link going away. Um, and then, oh. Gen Con, Gen Con, Gen Con. It's coming up this week. We're having a great old time in the grand are city we, of Indianapolis. Are we disappointed in it? No, no. We're just complimenting it for all its greatness and glory. It deserves to be mentioned thrice. Uh, and if you're going to be at Gen Con, you're going to be got to have a couple hours free on Friday. Come, show, come by and see us play live with our guests, Mark Mir and B.D. Walters. We'll uh, be playing on Friday, August 5th from 6 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be joining with the DM, Maroon Boy. That's me. I'm a Sudok. I'll be the DM <laughs> that evening, and we'll have our wonderful friends in tow. I'll tell you right now, I've been giving a little glimpse, a little peek behind the curtain of what I've been uh, squirreling away for the show. And I told you all last time, there will be a costume change. Oh yeah, There will be the inspiration of Jimmy Buffett and... It will be tropical. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, I missed oh, the ad read. When, when no. I watched this, when I watched last week's episode, I missed the ad reads. This is my first time hearing this. Oh Whoa. no, oh, no. So this is going to be a uh, 
He uh he, he does Margaritaville, right? That's uh-huh. right? So it's gonna be a Margaritaville themed uh oh. with a with a costume change. But here's the thing, if Gosric Leghorn isn't DMing that game. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing about that accent was you were like going back in time. You started <laughs> as just a regular regular southern, southern guy, and then like, you were oh. talking about the gold rush. <laughs> when you hit the prospector, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, I what? To- <laughs> If there's you're range like a, within the, the you, you know the specific you, area depending how far you lead. Yeah, you were like a time traveling southern gentleman. That was, thank you, uh, thank you. I, well, I had very, to make my good. way west. You know, <laughs> started <laughs> in South Carolina, made my way to New Orleans, and then had to oh, continue oh, on. Go on Route sixty six. Uh, oh boy! Oh my gosh! Live through uh, the Dust Bowl. It was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so. I don't know how our whoosh captain uh, will follow those two accents up, uh, but our whoosh captain no, just no back from, uh, <gasps> from the convention. Uh, let's hear. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much for your uh, whooshing capabilities last episode. I very much appreciated them. Everyone, get your whooshing apparatuses ready. We are getting ready to whoosh. And. A giveaway has already been won in chat, and we have not even done a giveaway. Congratulations <laughs> to the giveaway winner of nothing. I'm so sorry. Uh, everyone, please prepare your whooshing apparatuses for the whoosh that is getting ready to commence. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep, whoosh. Whoosh. I love there it. Robot whoosh. There Robot whoosh is fun. It's like Brian <laughs> led us through that whoosh, and that was great. <laughs> Brian the robot. Look at all the whooshes in chat go. I'm so proud of everyone. Congratulations. Simulation ending. Wow, that was that's that's cool. not voice mod either. Not, so yeah, imagine, if, voice imagine mod. if you already uh, have yeah. imagine if you already have the vocal talents of this cast and then you add voice mod to supplement it, yeah. where you'll just blow your players' minds. That to be really fair, good. it's not hard to me. imagine having our vocal. <laughs> I, I need Latia to, to like do my GPS uh, directions when I'm driving. I need to call Latia every time I'm going. Oh, like, that's sick. Narrate, narrate just, all my turns. Just to hear recalculating. Recalculating. Re- recalculating. When possible, make a legal U-turn. You do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sweet. All right, y'all. When possible, make a legal U-turn. Oh, that's perfect. See? That's perfect. good. Uh. Episode eight. What happened, yeah. everyone? Too much, too what? much. Ooh. Too much. Y'all did so much stuff. Oh, yeah. This is the point where the missing person is on put on the spot. That's right. Yeah, just watched the, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. just watched it. So. The whole thing. All right. Well, um, so if I remember correctly, we ended episode seven on a split mm-hmm. and yeah. we rejoined episode eight with... Um, Literally everybody but Gazrik and Dahani uh, talking to this person who definitely was not a snitch. I think Group. we found a narkier narc than Shaka. Um, and uh, this person who decided to uh, codename themselves brother, AKA bruh, uh, informed us that there was a secret element to this whole kidnapping shindig in the name of Mer- in the name of one Mergaxer uh who has been uh saving students who are basically two steps away from academic expulsion from Strixhaven um set mm, that's a whole thing saving. that like saving yeah, yeah. y'all 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 got into the legalities and moralities of that. I don't think I need to. Um, but yeah, he offered up some very valuable information about where Mergaxer can be found, which is what the Badlands, we're going to the Badlands. Fortress Badlands, yep. The Fortress Badlands, okay. Um, and so then we decided that we would give him to the biddies for rehabilitation. Uh, and re-entry into the into the the city of Waterdeep, um, packing cookies, which is cool. Um, I have uh, great faith in in Bruh and his ability to pack cookies. Um, and then everybody kind of like transported back to Waterdeep to see what was going on with the fractals, 
and BD and uh, to take a break because literally this whole, this whole, <laughs> this whole season has happened in a day. Yep. We good like that. What can I say? Things move past like the that. Forgotten Realms. Let's go. Absolutely. You know, like, hey. Yep. Yep. <laughs> a water deep day. <laughs> a water deep day. Uh, um, where we found out that the fractals had been taking things from us, which we knew already. Um, we found out that BD can be common, which was so cute. Just heart rendering at that point. Like, Wait, you know, no. heart rendering? We're like boiling it and. Yeah. Yeah, get like those it. good, good heart juices. No, no, no. Mm. We're rendering a heart and blender. Like we're just mm. building a heart and blender. But is it tender first? Mm. Yes. Okay, because I do need that beautiful oblivion. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. But rendezvous, yes. <laughs> then I'm through with you. Mm. Um <laughs> yes. So yeah, we went back to Troll Skull to uh to take a long rest and to talk to BD and the fractals and get the fractals out of the manor. And uh, there was some talk about shape shifting into Tanazir or something like that. I don't know. We were in the green room when I was listening to that part. So <laughs> a whole lot of a whole lot of cross talk. I didn't hear it, but no, yeah, we know who we know who is behind the kidnappings. We know that BD is interested in going to Strixhaven and to Quandrix, and we have our next destination, which is the Fortress Badlands. And mm-hmm. did I miss anything? I think you got the main that's the, the yeah. main main yeah. points a couple smaller things uh Lorene uh mm. um, is failing I could uh, she's failing. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well with that attitude I'm not surprised <laughs> yeah, uh and like decided to get some help from Javanesh um mm-hmm. to help her to uh you know pass essentially nice. um but uh yeah basically yeah, basically, we found out that, yes, yeah, so, like Magasser was kind of building this home for expelled students, mm-hmm. but bruh and these other folks were trying to take it upon themselves to get people before, like, that were about to be expelled, like, a sort of accelerate the process, right? Like, uh, basically, like, uh, you're going to fail anyway, so we got to get you now kind of thing. Um, like, you know, like, before you have to go through the, you know, whole expulsion thing um and uh uh he bruh said that you know he didn't know what these robes did right he said that oh, he right. just took he took them yeah. uh because he saw that mergaxer that they were important to him so he kind of took them oh and- right because yeah. um it was intimated slash revealed that mergaxer may not just be an important decision maker in water deep Mergaxer over the previous centuries may also be an important decision maker in other places. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So like that was mm-hmm. the other point that like I was I was gonna bring up. He's been around for you know a century or two. Um uh he was expelled from Strixhaven a while back, so he's had a right. long time mm-hmm. uh to uh uh to steep in that. Um yeah, so uh so um yeah, we don't know kind of what we don't know who these robes belong to, right? If he right. did, he take those robes. Is he a, a straight up mass lord, yeah. right? Because no one knows who the other people is, or mm-hmm. did he take them from someone that was? You know, there's a lot of questions still up in the air. But Bra did give us a map uh, to the Badlands, um, and uh, we were all back to get that long rest at the manor, get all those slots back. Mm-hmm. Um, so that uh yeah i mean so yeah that that would be one destination obviously we can uh go wherever we like but that is one possible destination of course so um anything else that uh stuck out to anyone during the episode mm, not to me see. With it, being, with, with it, with it okay. being the freshest to me, nothing to me i was like <laughs> i mean we met you br- briefly mentioned uh the diversion plan if maybe some sort of shape shifting some sort of uh yeah. like uh yeah. illusion because we do have to transport <laughs> bd from water deep from the manor to to strixhaven and then 
I don't need, are we taking BD with us to the Badlands? No, right? We haven't, no, decided, we, we haven't gotten that to. far. We haven't gotten that far, to. but we did try it. Some of the fractals have now understood that 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 it may be okay for them to leave. We got some of them to be like, yeah, right. okay, I yes. guess we should go. Yes, and, I was going to bring this. <laughs> oh gosh, there was one other. Oh, yeah. BD? That, once again, Maggie and Tilly are just complete power. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also, um, Celise, Faye, and Fenris uh, left. Um, uh, so, like, they're not staying at the manor. They left to. Uh, oh. Oh, right. <laughs> Which honestly, we should yeah. said, big brain move. Um, yeah. I mean, your house yeah. is full of fractals. You got to get some rest. I'm going to go yeah. somewhere right. else for that. <laughs> yes. So if there's you don't nothing want to else. Wait in line for bathroom. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just a fractal line. In my yeah. home. <laughs> um, your home? No. 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 <laughs> your home. It's like, is this a club? What is this? <laughs> um, um, all right. So uh, that means that if there's nothing else, there's two things that I want to start with. Either. Dahani discussing basically <laughs> um, either uh, Dahani kind of discussing, um, I guess, what you were doing um, because like you were either could have been in your room like while all this was uh, going on where the rival came back, or you could have been out somewhere. So I want you to like talk about if you were out somewhere, what you were doing, if you were in your room, if you're doing anything uh, particular. Um, we can either start there or Celise. You could tell me if there's anything um, of note that like uh, hap happens during your uh, night away from uh, the manor. So who would like to begin? Uh, I'll go first. Um, I also want to know. That, I just want to note that the face that I gave you is the face that Dahani gives anybody when her name is called very <laughs> That is <laughs> Yeah. So straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think after talking with BD, um, I probably did just go to my room, um, making sure that at least no nothing important had been added to BD's hoard. And I don't know if I went out, it was to acquire things that the hoard now has. So basically, just like refreshing paints and stuff. <laughs> like that. Oh. Oh, I see. So, so like refreshing stuff for yourself, right? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like seeing what's missing and being like, oh, I, I got to go to Walmart and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to make a trip to Blick. My uh, they yeah, took the all Blick, my watercolors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, right. and I and I, I haven't been home in a while to paint something. So, noting the tiny little splotches of like paint that are on one of my canvases from one of the fractals i'm like i'm just gonna finish i'm just gonna turn this into something mm. making fractal art pretty sure it's something for the building joke building we'll just assume that, that mm -hmm. you're, of course it is you're helping yeah. shock out with some, uh, <laughs> some, some art you, you 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 like know like it how like every every hotel has that same kind of i don't know how to describe like the art in like a hilton or a yeah marriott or something like mm -hmm. is there one artist that does hotel art i feel There's like, a it's like there there is a category like, for it and yeah, i like i like, remember reading about it for a while it's like filler art or just like like it's like b tier art like that just gets thrown everywhere yeah yeah it's it's like i think about it as like elevator music it's like right. kind of like it is that is the elevator music of art yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the panera woman holding a loaf that's in every single panera in, in some capacity you know <laughs> Oh, they're 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 not sponsoring us, Masood. Yeah, and yet, yet, come on, St. <laughs> Louis Bread Company, get on it! <laughs> um, wow, <laughs> all right, sweet. So, so add that to the sponsor list because that's coming. That's uh, coming, Masood. Um, <laughs> uh, Celise, anything, uh, anything of note uh, with you, Faye, and Fenris? Uh, that is, you know. <laughs> Uh, Celise is like, also me. There's nothing that they did that is appropriate for this show. Um, yeah. but talking, uh, Celise is actually thinking about maybe inviting Fabe to visit, to go to Tarami with her oh. when this current thing is wrapped up. Love it. Love it. It's a big move. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um... Celise, do you want to like come back to the manor in the morning? Do you want to like meet people along the way, or like how how, 
how would you and your crew want to want to handle that? Uh, we'll come back to the manor because I don't think we set a a place to meet. Yes, we so, did. Not. Yeah, yeah. So Sleece will be back in like after breakfast because if she has to eat one more ice spider leg omelet, she's gonna she's not gonna be happy. Sure. Well, I I mean, supposedly like Gosworth's like ice methods are making what whatever a leaf says to make. So mm-hmm. hopefully there's a diversity of uh, food, but so, you know, like when methods, you stay at a hotel yes. and you could just have the continental or you could go down the street to an actual restaurant. That's where she is right now. She's like, we're going to get a latte down the street. We'll see you at home. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. guys. You're, you're just known for making the Continental, man. You're just it's known okay. for making your... <laughs> Look, that's all they deserve. They hey. are up in our house and will not leave. <laughs> that is what you... If this if this makes you go, yeah. go. So, so <laughs> here's, here. How do you want your eggs? They're scrambled. Yeah, exactly. There's, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, 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 I, watery, that watery scramble, too. Like, not the proper scramble. But there's oh, a, no. Yeah, there's a little pride in the work, guys. There's a little pride. Wow. But... <laughs> exactly. I'm here's, never gonna. He- I'm gonna hear about this all the way to Gen Con. <laughs> exactly. Here's 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 your travel thing of Fruit Loops. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, not sponsored by Fruit Loops, guys. Oh, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Um, all right. Yeah. So uh, we're in the morning, mm-hmm. um, as usual, all around the table eating uh, food. Since uh, Cece wants to come in after the food, I'll say she's not here yet. Mm-hmm. Um, anything you guys want to discuss? At the breakfast table. Hmm. Did y'all well, tell me where we were going? By the way, I th- I think we filled each other in. I think uh, and I got the recap from yeah. Uh, I could say that y'all was, like there was yeah, a mutual yeah. yeah. There was a mutual recap like like Virgil kind of explained what they found out from the guard. Gosrick explained what y'all found out from mm-hmm. BD, and yeah, we probably put a little bit of heads together, but not. Not super mm-hmm. figured out. What we can say about. that that might have been the the start of breakfast, and now yes, as we're in the middle exactly. of our meal, this is like the like, middle. Yeah, 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 a long breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's important to be a day. We have to eat every, all of it, you know. I mean, honestly, so it's, more, it's more of a brunch. It's more of a brunch. <laughs> it's more, oh no, that explains it. Now I get <laughs> yeah. it. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah, um, I will say that it's slightly <laughs> less food than y'all usually get because Uh-oh. you see Leaf just making food and. Uh, he normally doesn't leave the kitchen, um, yeah. but just because of what's going on, he is uh, going in and out of the kitchen, just back and forth, and the methods as well. They're just, uh, yeah, I bur- I, I'm they're marking hustling. it now. I I burned a spell slot making more methods this morning. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> great, it's great. Totally like fun. I like I gave you that long rest, and you're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. I, was like, burning. I saw was Leaf burning. going back into the kitchen, and I saw how slumped their shoulders were Ugh, for a ghost, which is wild. For a ghost, right? Yeah. 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 And I was like, okay, yeah. we just have to. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's so there's a bunch of them helping uh, as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, so like you guys have the map of the Badlands. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I actually, I, I think I should describe a little bit of the map. Um, it's not yeah. like who drew this map. It looks like somebody was tied up when they. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I understand why they were in a performing arts section of Quandrix originally because yes, for having their hands bound, that map is really good <laughs> that's one good school they shouldn't have got kicked out <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah <clears throat> it's a pretty good i mean the the a map it basically it shows you how to avoid certain uh areas that like might be uh you know um infested with enemies and such um pretty clear path um as i said like the badlands is about 20 miles away uh from from uh from Strixhaven, so it's not close um but there is you know there's a you know you know there's like a way to, to like uh, get there that that uh basically makes it a lot quicker um and uh as far as it's just like a circle that says that the badlands are here but there's not like a map of the actual badlands like themselves it's just like go here circle you know kind, kind of like a treasure map almost like kind of looks like you know kind of thing with the with with with, with, with the thing there so um yeah so anything you guys want to discuss or we can just move on to have sleece come in and then uh head out um how is is the easiest way to get 
BD from here to the building job building? Do we take the underground? Do we just not even traverse the... Uh, yeah, I mean, we know the tunnels. We can sort of make our way around. That's a safe... Bit. Well, it's the most hidden way, right. I think, mm -hmm. if, if we're going to take BD. Mm -hmm. uh, we may be able... I, the other thing is to perhaps ask um ask shaka if there's a way to replicate their their magic that perhaps oh. we could simply set up a way to do that from here yeah and not necessarily having to go to the building joke building and the bows end maybe we could do a direct one can i make an arcana check if i could guesstimate yeah. based on having experienced it and doing all that stuff if i could like wing it yeah, and I believe yeah, I'm... with like, with like a plane shift with a plane shift. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. It's a modified <laughs> plane shift spell. Ooh. I understand. I okay. understand. Actually, that. I maybe. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. On also, 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 yeah. Shaka Sh 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 is here as well. Oh, he's, uh, yeah. Uh, Heck yeah. Well. He came okay. back with us. Perfect. Yeah. Even better. So <laughs> like he he like uh, he's like really digging up in in in, in this food. He goes, huh? Mm -hmm. like, looks up. We're insulting to Gosrick, knowing that it's not his recipe. I have never <laughs> seen him this enthused eating my cuisine. That's amazing. Fine. I like that you always have a little bit of time for Gosrick's pride. It's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's working on it. <laughs> I, you know. All right. Um, so first we're going to do the Arcana, and then Brian wanted to do something, right? Okay. I wanted to do a roll, I think. Uh, uh, so, 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 yeah, why don't, why, why, why don't we do the Arcana from Masood? Okay. Well, can we first. talk to Shaka first about it? Or yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I think that's yeah. easier if we just figure out. That. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and and then maybe decide like once we get some information, then we can try and either okay, uh, I'll help uh, Brian Got or it. yeah, yeah. Um, so Shaka, how did exactly did your table itself become this sort of portal key uh, or um, port key, if you will? Uh. Yeah, that's weird. I kind of heard that word before, but uh, it's from some. No, it's know, from nothing. It's from, from weird, nothing. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Ex <laughs> ex exactly. Uh, um, well, you know, uh, I mean, I was, you know, building uh, jokes, of course. Uh, you know, and uh, as 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 I mentioned, came across Jerry, right? Like you mentioned that uh, Strixhaven was expanding, and uh, you know, he kind of. Uh, showed me this stuff um you know so i don't know if he originated it or anything hmm. um but that was definitely uh you know why i chose the building that i chose hmm. uh -huh. um not only was it cheap but they kind of wanted somewhere that was you know kind of like not occupied or anything um so that they could kind of be the highlight there i see so does it does this geographical location matter in terms of its like plane shifting qualities uh i don't really know i just know it works um mm. i guess i never really thought about it yeah um sure. but i know that i had people to you know to entertain um, okay and you know so i didn't really think too much about it maybe i should have but... i have to i hate <laughs> this would it be yeah. possible to bring that kind of thing to the manor i mean it's it's it's, it's teleportation. I mean, we're still going on the same yeah. plane. We're just here to there, right? Yeah. So when, like, you say bring some of that, you mean like bring the table here, or like, well, try the to bring table or like, we've, like whatever that substance is. We've sort of noticed. I mean, yeah, we noticed that some of it was in the wizard gizzard buckets mm -hmm. when we were under yeah. the building joke building, which. By the way, have you checked under the building joke building? Because you should. There's you, you should the you, you should you should no, check. Oh man, I, well, wait. Why should I? You guys were under the building. Yes. Yeah. We, That's what we were. We did uh, perhaps when we let you know about encountering that we we maybe failed to mention that we were actually in the building joke building, but a part that we hadn't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think guys were in we were, Holy crap. Yeah, well, that's well, what I was going to say. We yeah. bounced back and forth a ton, and to be completely honest, going on. I lost track of where we were at any given Same. moment. Yes. But I'm pretty sure that Virgil is correct, and at least okay. some of that took place underneath. It the, felt right. underground. It did not feel DJB. on the second. Thanks yeah, for third. that reassurance. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for the reassurance, I, I, babe. I'm, <laughs> anytime, <honey. laughs> I, I'm, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's definitely possible. As I said before, I mean, I didn't really do like 
I, I mean, I'm not an inspector, you know, like I didn't go in and check all the uh, stuff. I just had, you know, uh, access to this one Gossip's room. Groaning in and, the corner. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Jerry showed me how to, you know, how to get to Bo's end. And I mean, kind of it, you know. Um, so there might be parts of the building that I'm not familiar with. So Shaka, um, but wait, I never really had to wait, be. wait, 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 wait. You bought a building and you didn't fully inspect it. Oh, I ins- well, I mean, define inspect, right? I just I mean, turned and look at Gazrick. Are you dying? <laughs> she, I... said, she said inspect, not appraise. Yeah, the appraisal would have been better. It's it's just it's fine. These <laughs> eggs, these eggs. Oh man. <sighs> but 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 Shaka. I, I know that we're not, most of us are not business people, but you bought a whole building to turn into a business. You you did, didn't did check what was in it? I mean, I checked the main room, right? You like, I had some ch- ideas. Um, but, you know, Jerry just came pretty early in the process. and uh, So, wait, wait, wait. So, you let a random fractal that you just met decide what you looked at so he could be running a slavery ring out of your building and you wouldn't even know whoa 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 i hope i would know that um i don't know you seem to just not know that there was even under to the building yeah i i I mean i'm i understand your point um do you though do you but uh yeah i mean i i was i guess i was so excited to get into this that i didn't uh think about uh, looking at every single part of the building. My friend. Well, um, we took yeah. care of that for you. We found something weird down there. And yeah, once in, we've dealt with more mm-hmm. Gaxer, we'll go back and, and yeah. deal with that. Absolutely. In, in, uh, to be fair, in, it's in, not as like though you really, were... Yeah, and like it's really weird, right? Because I have all this money. I could have just paid somebody to, to look <laughs> at it, right? <laughs> well, uh, when you put it that way, exactly. I was and trying to be on your side, Sean. <laughs> I'm giving you... I'm already benefit, giving you... Oh. The benefit You're, of the doubt, it's not as if you were actually on, hosting people in that building that's so, true that's, that's true fair. it is it merely really the housing just a, for the portal uh, you know for what I'm, you knew i'm really trying to help you out here Shaka. that's true I, you, you will get the pro bono nimrods um, consulting after this well well, okay, I, I, we, I, well, <laughs> well, well well also also like you know it's a it's a seller's market i mean people were making these cash oh, offers no. 30k <laughs> over the price 40K. i had to get in and get this i had to get you know like i had to waive the inspection i had to waive all that wait stuff, you waive you know? the inspection so, Oh my. It's a competitive market. I'm yes. going to find all of our old friends and tell them to just come get you. Maybe you need to go back to Avernus. <laughs> no, I feel like the like actual process of buying and purchasing an Avernus might be even more complicated. <laughs> he does then feel he, like the contracts there are just really full of like tricky <laughs> loopholes and things. So but but he would learn. He would learn. He would learn. So he would learn. He about would learn. that teleportation. <laughs> right, 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 right. This is, this is, this is we'll get back to this. Yeah. Just, I, I mean, it, but, but also please inspect that building. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we will inspect this. This is the core, this is the core conflict. Yeah. Like, this is um, we, we are trying to, uh, BD has actually expressed interest in visiting Strixhaven and mm-hmm. Quandrix, and we are trying to figure out the easiest and safest way to visit. Mm-hmm. And it would be great if we were able to use that same technology somehow. Um, sorry, magic. Technology is not a word that Virgil uses at all. Um, <laughs> that same type of magic lology to. <laughs> to it's a technical break. term. <laughs> it's very technical. Um, oh, God, to. To. Trying. To. To, to go from here to there more easily. Yeah, I can, um, I'll tell you what, I mean, I can, I mean, this is really important. So yeah, I can like maybe go grab either the table or maybe a piece of the table and bring it back here and see if, I mean, it should work the same. I mean, I don't think it's something tied to the building or not. So um, yeah, I could try that. I, I own the place. I mean, where are they going to tell me if I move the table, right? right. So um yeah. Yeah, it's your yeah, table. Can, also, you're not wherever you you're work. not hosting show. My table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, okay, so that would be that would be great because yeah. then we could more safely we could more safely um, 
decide on. Yeah, I can just that. announce that, you know, like we're closing today for a private event. All right. There you, go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for a private party. And Perfect. Uh, yeah. So I can, I mean, I can just go ahead and do that right now. I mean, it's not that far away. Mm. Um, okay. Do you, do you guys want me to uh, go grab it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, the, we're, we're gonna, <laughs> sure. It's it's such a like reasonable plan. We're all like, I mean, it I really guess. is. It really, really is just like, <laughs> like too right, reasonable. It's just, yeah. I, I, I just, then, it's, uh, at this point, I'm hesitant about anyone being out of our sight for more than a second. That's literally my head. Come I was back like, a doppelganger, or yeah. they may come back owning property. I'm not sure yeah. now. Or, or <laughs> as a as a fractal, we got so many what choices a... for terrible things <laughs> that could happen. Uh, uh, Gazrik's like, um, you know what? Uh, body system. I'm I'm gonna go with Shaka. I'm just gonna I'm, I'll go and uh, and okay. I'll, we'll be back soon. I also have a question. Yeah. Do we want BD to be in? Strix Haven, while we are going to the Fortress Badlands, that is the that is that is the question that I had about this whole thing. So, do we want to do this now, or do like like what is the order of operations here? What's the pen desk? Okay. In the one hand, yeah, yeah, like Sharif is thrilled. You uh, get inspiration. You, 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 yeah. you know, <laughs> Here's the thing, though, that only solves our problem if these two things are not division and multiplication, right? Because yeah. then the order doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm coming over there. I love you. <laughs> All right. So, um, I was thinking. Well, like, on the, go ahead. Yeah. No, please. I, I, in but, my head, it's like we just bring BD over to and. Quandrix, right? Like that, like that's uh -oh. their journey. They're not, they're not meant to be in the Badlands. Like they're not trying to get over there. Like their mm. energy, no. their calling is to like that college, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that's fine. But what yeah. I don't want is for BD to be walked into making decisions because he is a bebe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. without us being there, well, and the we've seen biddies could protect them, right? Uh, oh well, we've got them looking after our our prisoner. <laughs> My, the other thing I was going to say was yeah. we've seen that like to a point mm -hmm. BD can can take care of himself and can right. uh, you know sort of manage the mm -hmm. the fractals yeah. but if we're right about any of this and BD is in fact even a small part has even a small part of Tanazir like I do think that the faculty will get involved and mm -hmm. that's a situation I don't know that I want to necessarily leave him on his own to handle mm -hmm. that part so we should maybe we should that, just wait go after. to the go to the badlands and then go out yeah that part thank you I, I, the fast. other thing is we should probably ask bd <laughs> fair well i mean i want to be protective of of them but also yeah. if they're like you know if it's the salmon spawning call of going back home to strixhaven then like you know maybe that's we just stop right yeah honestly at some point we yeah if it if it if this is truly something that is innate or magical in nature, there's not much that we're going to be able to do to stop it happening. Right. 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 But I do believe that, yes, perhaps we can control the circumstances or at least monitor them somewhat. Okay. So should I get the table or not get the table? You know what? I think we check in with BD okay. and tell him that we are going to make sure Strixhaven is safe for them. And part of that is handling this Morgaxer. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. That, uh, yeah. Does that feel uh, in truth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. BD's... I mean, that's certainly only part of what we're worried about for BD, mm -hmm. but yes. Yeah. But no, BD had concerns that it was safe, and we have identified something that is not, that could potentially be unsafe. Exactly that's fair. Right. Love it. All right. Um, so I'll say at this point, uh, breakfast pretty much over. So, Sleece, uh, you are back. Mm -hmm. in the convo um wait i we'll thought i was there because i was fussing at shaka about not inspecting the house yeah, yeah, yeah. you were uh, you, you have your you were getting breakfast you're getting your latte but you were summoned <laughs> by you were just like, that's awesome physically yeah, yeah. summoned okay. into presence by shaka making <laughs> yeah. a bad decision well, yeah <laughs> like you yeah you, yeah so, so yeah even even though you said that you wanted to come in after a meal yeah like you came in latte in hand yeah. uh, five minutes late yeah. five minutes late <laughs> <laughs> you missed and, the recap uh, for uh, the yeah, rest of us. Uh, so that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, everybody going down to BD? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, uh, as y'all go down, uh, 
Um, you know, you basically see that there's a bunch of fractals there, of course, but they're all sleeping. Um, this is still pretty early in the morning um, that we're eating. Uh, so there's a bunch of fractals still there, but they're all asleep, including the ones that were fanning and feeding mm-hmm. uh, BD. So uh, you pretty much can step around them and, uh, you know, uh, have access to uh, BD to ask him whatever you want. Oh, and BD speaks common now, too, so we can all talk to them. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Got to get these fractals out of the house. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 BD learned common, and it's very cute. Hey, yeah, bud. Y- yeah. Morning. Hey. Good morning. Oh, sorry. <sighs> <laughs> Perfection. Hey. hey, hey. So, in the honor of honesty, um, you know how you asked us if Strixhaven was safe. Yeah. Not quite yet. So we're going to go oh. make sure it's safe and then we'll give you the word to come over. Or we'll just oh. come get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't know how to get there. No. Do you? No, no. okay. No. I don't think so. I know what it what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, you I do? Think. Yeah, he's seen it in his dream. Oh, dreams? the dream. That's right. The, the dream. dreams. Yeah. I didn't dreams. know if the dreams were also like pointing you in a, a uh, had a pull to follow them and he could just get there without GPS. thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, can try. Okay, that's all right. No, no, no. Uh, that's no, a, no, 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 no. We'll do it together, bud. Okay. Um, if we go, mm-hmm. can I bring Ford with me? Well, I think that depends on if you decide you want to stay. I mean, yeah. do you want to go with all of it the first time, or do you well, want to I'm, go see it first? I've never been away from it. Mm. Maybe uh, you can bring like uh, uh, three of your favorite things. Uh, at this point, BD looks directly at Kent <laughs> and <laughs> and and. and <laughs> Anna says, um, three favorite things mm-hmm. from you. Mm-hmm. What I am very torn between adorable and very upset. What things? So let's see. I think last time we said that there was like a like cufflinks uh-huh. that uh, uh-huh. were in the word. Uh, there was a previous episode where there was. Was there a full cape? I think there was a cape that was. It was not my ones. glamoured one, but it was a cape. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, what would be a third? What's something else that? Let's say that you, since these other two things are kind of important, just like w- one thing that you wouldn't really miss. Like it, it is something you own. Well, let's. Well, Kent will probably miss it, but yes. like let's say, yes. let's say that like. It's something that you have like multiple versions of. Like you have oh. so many oh. that if one was gone, like you'd be like, okay. Oh. Like, um, like it could be jewelry. Spare, it could be. No, no. It's spare uh, buttons for my, uh, like spare little studs for my armor. Because um, mm. heavens forbid that, you know, one of them come off and I have to replace it with one that isn't identical and matches <laughs> so i have just a giant bag I love of that. studs and straps and replacement like toggles because you know we worked hard to get to this look and we can't alter it just because a piece wears out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's fantastic um <laughs> yes 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 yeah, so 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 he so asked for each of those three things um <clears throat> So uh, I will, I always carry some of them on me, some of the buttons on me. So I will pull one of those out right away and hand it over. And as I do, I will realize that I'm, I happen to, why did I pick today to wear those cufflinks? But here they are. So take those off and like hold out my hand towards BD, but like not open it. As you hold out, <laughs> as you hold out your hand, like a, like, like a B, BD's little wings kind of like, Almost like pa- pa- almost kind of cat like kind of pawing yeah. at the uh, uh, cufflink. So I like turn it over and I like uh, 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 fine. Okay. 
And then, uh, yeah. oh, I don't have the cape on me. Um, I think it would be in his hoard, actually. Oh, you're right. I suspect you're right, that, you're would right. Already, that would have already been part of it. Yeah, yeah. Or like, if you didn't bring one, he'll pull out one that maybe you didn't think he had. Oh, that's Ooh. even better. I'll be like, yeah, I'll go upstairs and get the... <laughs> so he's like, uh, I think this one, <laughs> this one. And then, like, he uh, puts the cufflinks um, uh, and, you know, he, he, he like, basically, like, rolls things into the cape and, like, has, like, a little kind of, like, ball. And it's, like, no, I'm going to take it. Okay. And I'm going to fold it into a little oh. package with nice oh. places for the creases where, like, they aren't going to look like wrinkles when it's unfolded. This will take me several minutes. Oh, is 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 this like an action? I just is appreciate, like concentration? I yeah. appreciate the faith that Kent has that he's going to ever get this thing back. Look, but even if I don't, I, what am I going to do? Have a wrinkly cape in a dragon horde, please? It's not like anyone's going to know your name. It's not like and it. <laughs> like I grab, I unfold the cape, and I show you the giant uh, uh, KJ monogram in one corner of it in silver <laughs> stitching. What do you mean they're not going to know it's mine? <laughs> starts again <laughs> <laughs> okay nice sword hmm. interesting that too. can you do <laughs> entire hoard like uh -huh. oh see now I want a portable hole I was just me. about to I say know that we yes have, I know that we have we definitely had some bags of holding but at one point a this is a pretty is so huge nice sword at this foldable. point. Right. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, BB, I, I, I think. B, no, I, I think we both say I think at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I think. You know, it's like, definitely, you want to, we want you to be comfortable and have your stuff with you. But we also, if you decide that you don't want to stay then moving all of this is going to be a whole lot. Mm. So that's why we're, you're only taking some important things. And then if you decide you want to stay, we'll figure out how to get the rest of it there. Okay. Okay. So we're not going right now. So you have time to- Yeah, you, yeah, uh -oh. you have time to yes. enjoy okay. the horde for a bit. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Can you wake- Wake, wake them. Oh, do we have to? Well, he needs food and fanning. This isn't a turn down service. <laughs> need, need is a strong well, word for some of that, it, but all right. It is, it is true that if we are, if we are leaving, the fractals have for right. their own reasons been taking care of BD, making sure that there's food for BD. Prioritizing BD so, over everything, which um, I, ha I hate that I respect that so much. Yeah, <laughs> Virgil, Virgil turns toward the towards the, the, the fractals and kind of away from the rivals and just does like a thunderclap with his hands. Yes. To be like, yes. get up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so the two that were, so the one that was fanning and the one that was feeding, they wake up like when that uh, annoying iPhone alarm uh, goes off. <laughs> and, like, and like they just like, uh, and then they immediately get back to doing what they were doing. Um, you're up. I thought you were going to say they immediately go back to sleep. I was like, that's a whole move. Oh, Frank I would love that. <laughs> Yeah. Just not today, your dudes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're they're back up up and at it, and then you just see BD smile after after that happens. Hmm. It's never uh, felt so torn about a creature before. This is gonna <laughs> be really. This is gonna be really difficult. Yeah, <laughs> BD's getting spoiled. He is uh, with my shit. <laughs> well, we already. The thing is, we already let BD have the run of the manor. Just ah uh, like, no. Hard. Who wants to tell BD that sometimes dragons have more than one horde? Not me. <laughs> Whoa. I wonder no. Uh, <laughs> <That's... laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so any any more with BD? You no. I mean, no, he's lovely, but I think we <laughs> should move on. <laughs> okay. So where do y'all want to go after this? I I guess it's I mean, so, unless there's to, other to get, prep, yeah, yeah. I think to get it's to the Badlands. Fortress Badlands, it was it was the directions given were 
from Strixhaven, getting there yes. from Strixhaven. Yes. yes. Oh, right, right. So, um, can we just jump to the building joke building then? I think, yeah, we should. You yeah, know. we do montage where uh, <laughs> where you guys are basically on the path. Yeah. Uh, there. Oh, great. Um, cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't think there's anything else before. Aside from the map pointing out, you know, pointing out, was there was there anything that particularly stood out to us on the map that seemed particularly dangerous? Aside from the essentially giving us a, a an idea of the safe areas and how to avoid, is there any, you know, any particular landmarks or notable? anything else not, in the way not really um it's pretty um it seems pretty like barren mm -hmm. um the only thing that you notice on the you know on the uh map is that it says like light on sort of the way from Sh rickshaven to uh, there it says light that's kind of the only thing that you really notice but there's no real landmarks or anything that you notice in between Okay. We're all just so nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think one explodes uh yeah. into a fine mist. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well um yeah, I, I I think at that point we would, you know, um we would definitely just go mm -hmm. and tentatively, yeah. you know, tentatively start along the the direction that the map the map seemed to lead us between yeah uh between here and there. Yep. I'll assume you have all your weapons. For, yeah, ready, and keeping a close eye for like scouts or lookouts or anything. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we know we're going into hostile territory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So uh you so uh you guys start uh, walking basically. Um everybody give me a survival roll, everyone. Oh, we oh, love no. we love survival oh, rolls over no. here. Yeah, your boy got a 24, nice. 13 plus eleven. Uh, 16. Ooh. 16. <laughs> Sleece got a whopping six. Okay. The digital dice have once more betrayed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, wow, Faye uh, didn't do any better. What is Faye? Oh, actually, I should five. bring up the ruin thing. Uh, a five. A five and a six. They're a pair today. Yeah, because on D&D Beyond, if people roll within D&D Beyond, you can see their rolls. Yeah, I'm only seeing mine for whatever reason, but that's oh. okay. I see, the party, I see the party log in the game log. <laughs> oh, game log. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, I'm oh, looking no, at the, the game actually... log just to itself. And I switched oh. to everyone, it's just me. But that's that. that that's neither here today. nor there. Not, yeah. Neither here nor there. That's fine. It's it's a feature, not a bug, guys. It's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so um, I'll say, uh, yeah, the average roll was pretty high. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, I'm not going to say like one person, you know, runs into a band. One yeah. person <laughs> gets dysentery. Uh, Only one just, just oh, walks no. and screams um, the whole time. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like you guys are, uh, yeah, you, you pretty much, I'd say, you know, for the first uh, mile or so, you don't encounter anyone. Cool. Um, but one thing that you do notice is um, you start to, the more you walk, the more um the more distance you feel like you're covering it's really strange like you feel like mm. almost like your um almost like your stride is increasing it feels very uh, very very mm. weird i got it the, <laughs> it took me a minute okay. because I, I what you what I, I now understand what you mean is like the rate of our travel is increasing but yes. what i heard was as you go somewhere you get closer to it <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, I was hearing the opposite. Yeah. I thought it was the horror movie thing where like the oh. more we travel, the first, like it doesn't yeah. get any closer. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Uh, uh, this is but yeah. this is better than either of those though. So great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Look, actually, you know what? I think I'll share in the after show where that was going to happen that you guys actually avoided. Oh. That was going to happen. Oh. Previous, uh, oh. Things, Sorry, but, folks. That's but, Patreon uh, we'll exclusive about that. content. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. I'll I'll make a note to bring that up in the after show. Um, um, so as as we notice this, like, yeah. if we, it almost feels like you are accelerating, like, uh, like a, you're 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 just able to cover more distance as you walk. Um, for mm -hmm. just a moment, Virgil stops walking. Oh, and Osric walks into Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Roll damage. <laughs> He's two and a half times your height. How did you yeah. miss him? I was walking. I, I didn't expect think, yeah. us to just suddenly stop. I, look, wow. My, I got to be that tourist at the elevator, at the escalator <laughs> right in front of everyone. Wow. Um, but when when Virgil stops, d- does does he actually stop or is there still some kind of pull? You stop, um, I'd say for a little bit and then you feel yourself starting to be pulled forward oh oh so maybe that is why gosrick walked in that's so interesting that's yeah, yeah definitely okay, not Gosrick. definitely yeah definitely not situational awareness it's definitely not <laughs> no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> definitely magic yeah yeah, 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 for um, yeah sure. there's there's something the at, there there's something at play here and yeah. we may be able to use it to our advantage but it is definitely affecting us yeah, and it feels since it kept going when you stopped, it feels like it is not simply a generic travel aid in place in this area, which is what I sort of assumed as we were moving. But if it is pulling us when we stop, mm-hmm. that feels much someone more... wants us to come. I want to that. Well, can I do an arcana check on that, or or maybe sure. in nature? Or if can I, may... you, could, you can do either one. They'll okay. they'll give you different results, though. Uh, yeah, I, I you know what? Doing that, I love I'll do nature that. then. I'll, I'll I, do I arcana. This should be yeah, interesting. Somebody sixteen plus nine twenty five. Okay. I will um, let you all roll. Ooh, yeah, same. That is, see, yeah, Virgil sucks at arcana, so that's yep. just a thirteen. Yeah. It's my favorite thing about Virgil. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> Charisma for Dahani, just to see what happens. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I welcome it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually weird. I don't see any rolls. It's very strange. Oh. Um, am I, and I'm in the rivals campaign. Yes, yeah, so uh, this, this is all so, back, whatever. This is a 13. Uh, interesting yeah, so 13 for Arcana. Uh, 13, 25 for Nature. And, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. That okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So for the Nature roll, mm-hmm. um, you know, you don't see anything different about sort of the uh, the ground yeah. or the, uh, you know, trees or anything. Um, you do notice, though, sort of a very faint uh, white light um, sort of at your feet. It's very faint, mm-hmm. um, but you're 25. You're able to sort of uh, yeah. so, sort of make 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 that out there um i'll say that Celise, you noticed the same thing yeah with your 23 as well um and with um with virgil's arcana roll um you don't really pick anything up except that you know this is ob- this th- this is definitely something that is not normal like this is definitely sure. like as you like said it is as if Either someone is pulling you toward them or mm. someone is pushing you away from the other side, right? From so the other be you being pushed from Strixhaven oh, or being uh-huh. pulled to and uh what, what on the map would correspond with where we are right now? Because it did uh, mention something about light. Yeah, right? yeah. So 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 I guess about 20 miles away, you're about a mile um uh, there. So like you're not that far from the campus. Mm. But, Okay. Huh. I mean, I think we just keep an eye on it, but I think we keep going. I mean, it's yeah. you know, we're going, it's not we're opposing going there. us. So we're going, right. let's just yeah, stay alert. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So um, as you uh, continue oh, to move, can I ask uh, the honey yeah. question? Does this affect yes, you? Does it affect you in the sky? Oh, is it only affecting uh, ground travel? Okay. Are you well, I jump. Walking? I I jump and I hover. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, hovering. Yeah. So now, like, am I being like? Are we like slowly, moving away? Am yeah, I yeah, slowly yeah. drifting forward? <laughs> right. Or uh, are, we, are they standing still and like our group, like we're yeah. playing? Yeah. Yeah. If you jump in the air and hover, uh, honey, you do notice that they're moving away from you, like Whoa. faster oh. than you, faster than you would expect. Interesting. Fascinating. Don't. It's the ground. The ground. The earth. The, yeah, the earth well, is the thing. It's as if it's aiding us in our journey towards our target, or is that good or bad? I mean, depends on who's aiding. Can I be honest? Can I be real? I feel like the people at Strixhaven are very lazy. And so if they knew that they had <laughs> hubs to get to from one point to the other, they just like fast traveled it. It's like 
a moving pathway that they installed in their home. Mm. It's in the long run that's cheaper than like daily teleportation spells, yeah, right? Just I it is it is towards our objective, so I suppose that yeah. at the very least we should make yeah. use of it. Just every everyone be very mindful when it looks like it's about to end. And we might have to fly on the way back in case it's difficult to if it's only a one directional force. That oh. might just be the answer. It, like it might be easier to fly back. Well, they get back and the you know, Bra and others get away from this area fine. So I'm pretty sure that there must be other ways to leave. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. What's the terrain like out here? Uh pretty barren. Okay. Um, kind of like like there there are some trees, but it's kind of like I, I would say like a loosely populated forest, I guess is what you want. Okay. Oh, okay. About so I'll of... just uh feeling this after this whole discussion, uh, I'm just gonna take my glamoured armor and just turn it a color that like is kind of closer to the surroundings, just so like okay. it's from the air, maybe so, from so high camouflage. up, I'm a little harder to spot. Yeah, I mean, not shifting, it's not like active camouflage, but just something a little closer to the surroundings since okay. now Kent is nervous. <laughs> okay. And Dahani, are you staying in the air? Um, Yeah, I'll stay in the air. Um, are, are you hovering or like flying? No, 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 I'm gonna fly with everybody, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pace, but I'm gonna fly now. Okay, got it. Uh, as you're moving, um, Dahani, you have a pretty fast fly speed. Yeah, I have to I like I have to slow down to actively keep yeah. pace with everybody. Just yeah. giant well, loop deloops. For a while, but you notice that it's getting harder and harder. You're you're really slowing <laughs> space. <laughs> you're, you're both I, I i can't have you and yahenio like together because <laughs> i have your windows like right next to each other and both of your faces are so well good. because we're both thinking the same uh, thing which is how dare the rest so of us good. be as fast as a monk um, <laughs> yeah. that is a bit weird uh, i gotta say yeah so yeah so, so at first i mean dahani you're like sailing along but then like then like you're like wait wait a minute i'm kind of really pushing it here um and i'm not feel like i'm slowing down anymore and then after a little bit you're flying your hardest and they're slowly starting to outpace See, you. this is just rude she says <laughs> as, she, you. <laughs> as, as she as she flies back down to the ground do yeah starts to as you as as you hit the ground you suddenly feel like kind of a like an acceleration and you mm -hmm. start to move as fast as the rest of the folks do this we is wild yeah at noticing n noticing that dahani actually had to keep up with us to mm -hmm. as we are as we are advancing forward do we feel any different when you look like it looks like things are like moving fast but not like as fat like when like Dahani was in, in the air that you guys were moving faster than she was flying yeah right so like so like you were moving very fast from her perspective um but to like you if you're observing the environment you know i'll say there's just a passive like perception thing mm -hmm. um y'all y'all you know things are definitely moving faster than like you thought you're like strides seem to be covering more like distance yeah but another weird thing is if you turn and look at uh at either one of the of the party members you notice that it seems like they look like kind of compressed so if you look at like a party member it almost looks like that they're getting like thinner like I squished are we approaching light speed? I, what is I was like, are, do we need to be concerned about like breaking the time barrier here? Yeah. What's happening? Huh. Just needing longer sleeves on our clothes. I'm not sure what's about oh, to happen. Oh man. Um, yeah. I'm I'm torn. I'm like, is this a trap? And I don't know how. Or. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I at this point, I think that we should just go. Yeah. Because like the more that we want the one the more that we wonder about this, the more that we're just gonna be we're just gonna yeah. be wandering and it's and, yeah. and we are wondering we're wondering in real time as it's happening. So it's not like we have we've right. stopped, <laughs> right. we've stopped yeah. to say, okay, wait, like 
I um while we're moving though, I just uh I cast thorn whip and like remove all the thorns and begin to tie it around everyone's waist, uh, la, wrist particular, just like in case we're getting compressed, however we land, we're like still as a unit. Ooh. Okay, so, so right you're trying to tether everyone? Okay. Tether, Hello? yes, a tether. Okay, are you attaching that to something or just... just to Each other. Everyone? I think that that's okay. like, if we can't attach, I don't want to attach it to the ground. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because that would be a problem. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, Field trip buddy <laughs> system, for real, yeah. you were not joking. No, yeah, no, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> not okay. happening today. We're not losing anyone. Sure. And yes. the last one, it goes around his Fenris's collar. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, uh, yeah, Fenris is having a good time too. This is like kind of like a, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yeah. Uh, this is like this is like <laughs> this is like this is like this is like having your head out the window of a car, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, oh dear. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So like you guys are going, going, um, and all of a sudden you are um, at the gates of. Uh, what Margaxor described to you because, you know, as he gave you the map, he was kind of describing mm -hmm. what it would look like. And you are where he described, which is a massive, uh, massive gates that are sort of, sort of like leading into yeah. a swampy area. And just for my clarification, this is what uh, Bra described about Margaxor's yes. location, right? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I just, it just in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. we yeah. also hadn't said Bra's name yet today, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to say so, it. So, question. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You said it's leading into a swampy area, correct? Yes. <clears throat> is it like most movies where there's a giant door and all we have to really do is walk around it and none of us realize this? <laughs> or is there a wall? <laughs> um, These gates are pretty big. Um, yeah. If you wanted to walk around and see if there was another way to get through, you could do that. But there's no other obvious way to get through. Okay. Mm, so it's better designed than that. Yeah. How tall, <laughs> are, these, how tall are these uh, gates? Uh, I'd say about, they're pretty tall, like very tall. So okay, I'd sure. say Feet like. wise. Yeah. 40, 50. I know what he's oh, going. No, I know. No, I know what he's doing with that. Very tall. I know what he's doing with that. No, 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 no. These are massive. These are like oh. 150 feet tall. Okay. okay. Like, 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 like. These are like almost unnaturally tall. Okay. I fly up towards the top. Does the top never arrive? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so uh, as 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 you fly up, um, are are you just like just like just like can continue to fly up? You uh, bonk your head on something. Oh no. You hear a squawk from like however yeah. high up this is. Like, why, where, how, what? Oh, mm. yeah. It seems like there's some kind of barrier up here. Okay, I found the game barrier. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. This gotcha. this is like this is like there's like no assets loading past. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah, yeah. see up there. Turn around. Ready for that yes. Five, four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, right. just, just like a sky hack our way through. We're yeah, gonna yeah, like yeah. it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just keep jumping at it. Just keep jumping at it. That would be yeah. very funny if like all the, all like the honey kept doing was like flying up, just like squeezing <laughs> through the pixels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. So so yeah. You you uh, bonk your head. Mm -hmm. And uh seems like there's something preventing people from going over. We so don't, they, uh, they want us to go through the front door. Okay. Do yeah, we see this... any lookouts? Do we see any windows, Anything? openings no. to look through? Nothing. Just a no, You see yeah. these huge gates. Um, you see that it leads into a swampy area because you can see like through the sort of little <laughs> partitions in the gates. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but uh no. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, do, uh, you want to roll investigation for Faye? Yeah, Faye is an artificer, and she's like a door. <laughs> she's also got a plus seven on investigation. Nice. Okay. I yeah, appreciate any, Faye. Any, anyone can roll, by the way. Any, uh, 24. Roll what you I mean, want. look, everyone can watch a party try to negotiate with a door and think, wow, I don't know why they're having so much. Everyone can do that from outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's us let's us six stand back and watch Faye yeah. handle it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In, 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 in like why 
Why hasn't Gosrick molded into this door yet? Like I literally not, can I tell you something? Touched, no one's touching it yet. Door. There's a reason why Gosrick hasn't touched this door yet. There's a reason why he hasn't immediately just tried to push it open. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about that. See episode seven. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um. So like. So so, so like a, Faye, I wrote a uh, twenty four. Correct. Yep. Okay. Great. Um. So what, Faye notices is that, this door, definitely unnatural. Um, and it looks pretty impenetrable by, by like a normal means. Um, but obviously there's some way to like a get through. She suspects that something under it, um, under the gate, um, might be at play. Like she senses like a sort of energy coming from under the gate. Oh. Did, did bro leave any notes on the map aside from like this, the, the area called the light? Were there any notes on the map that, regarded this or did he tell us anything about this gate in particular uh he left a big circle that said here it is thanks nice. thanks bro honestly thanks, bruh. it is helpful that is helpful. thanks bro um and like he signed his name bro on it too so, can i i, I mm. mean <laughs> i can get through to see what's over there in case anybody's watching but without touching anything mm. but uh mm -hmm. or i think i can but i don't know how helpful that'll be mm -hmm. i mean because if we can't get the gate to open you know what i mean um you said it's it the swamp begins right yes okay yeah it kind of leads into a swampy area. so it's like watery kind of loose mud that's underneath yeah mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna um, knock on the door knock on as honey goes to do this and that's <laughs> i'm not gonna stop her that's fine uh i'm just going well i'm gonna try and run ahead of her i don't know how well it's going. oh okay um, i see that and I will, uh, what's it called? Ghost walk, I think. Yeah. Right, yes? Yes. Uh, so I will use my ghost walk to become incorporeal and <laughs> uh, just sort of like stick my head through to the other side while the honey <laughs> is doing it, looking mostly to see if there are, is anyone on the other side to answer the door. And if yeah. so, if they okay. are armed. <laughs> so you're not going completely through. You're Don't just think just so. making your head <laughs> just your yeah. head. Just I mean, if nobody's over there, I'll go through. But if someone's over there, they are definitely well, just seeing like bust up come yeah. through this wall. <laughs> and poor Faye is just standing there, like I oh, okay. I'm yeah. just gonna I, watch you all do this. So, I, like, you well, can see through the partitions of the gate, so you can see that there's nobody on the other side. Yeah, great. Right. Um, but you can still. So, so yeah, if you look through, you're going to see basically exactly what you can see through the partitions Great. of the gate. Okay. I am um, hiding there. Take a key from what Faye tells us. Uh, and I use, I cast Mold Earth, the cantrip, to start mm -hmm. shifting some of the swamp underneath the gate to see what's what was Ooh. like at the bottom of it. Did, but did okay. Faye get a chance to tell you that? Because you all oh. like. I, I, I assumed I assumed that immediately. Like, it was like one of the things that immediately happened. But, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, a good I'm, point. I did assume that she would share that, but she didn't I mean, she to, did, so. but it was like, thanks for investigating. I'm going through the door. <laughs> right, immediately right <laughs> after. Uh, but yeah, okay. let's just assume she shared it. And cool. uh, Celise still has Misty steps, so she's going to wait and see what happens. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Gazik, you're shifting earth around. If you right? target an area of loose earth, you can instantly excavate it, moving along the ground and deposit it up to five feet away. This movement doesn't have enough force to cause damage. So I'm just like shifting space. I'm like just like digging okay. with this uh, cantrip. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you deposit uh, the earth, mm -hmm. um, you basically see under under this gate uh, some shiny stuff. Can't. That looks very similar to the shiny stuff that you have encountered uh, to get to uh, oh, different no. areas of um, oh. tricks. Area. Okay. Well, hop, skip, and the jump, they say. All right. I'm going to let somebody else touch it first. This time. Oh, I'm so used to Tahani, like, seeing it and being like, well, I got this, y'all. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Hold on. So the impulse, I'm, I'm not going to lie. The impulse mm -hmm. was there, mm -hmm. but I thought somebody else might like the chance first. Otherwise, Gosser gun covered it. So, oh uh, yeah, but uh, let's think that maybe I'm learning my lesson about just touching things. Um, but we'll try. Does that imply that I haven't? No, it's just that you have better luck about being first. Like you're just luckier on like being the first one through. Oh, okay. There's no lesson here. Don't worry about it. 
yeah, I no. touch it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Leadership. Yeah. This is leadership. Um, yeah. Uh, Dahani, you touch it. Uh, you disappear into a ghostly form to everyone yeah. else. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, in front of you is uh, you know, pretty much no gate. No gate. Yeah. All right. We've, we we've all known. seen this. We've all seen this happen. So it is. I. It is easy. Virgil just follows. I yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, follow yeah. It's like a train like, of people. We've all just... basically yeah. every single time. Dahani's led the way, and this time we don't even give her time to do a dance. We're just like, let's go. Okay, we're in it now. Because <laughs> I was, I was thinking about it too. I was like, oh, what am I gonna do once while I'm waiting for them, and you didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> Turn around. Yes. You're getting ready to do the Iggy shuffle. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna do the wobble. Oh, uh, if if you had like enough time to to, to like, do the full wobble song, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, everybody goes through. Uh, you're basically after you touch it, you basically see the exact same swamp, but no gate in front. Basically, mm-hmm. um, you know. So like now you are free to proceed. Um, and first thing that you see as you're walking through um, is you see uh, two. No, sorry, three. Um, uh, they look human, um, people, and they are just uh playing a uh, wizard gizzard. Uh, as you see them, just uh, you know, like there's three buckets that that are in like a front of them. They they have like the the these uh, wizard gizzards, and they're uh, playing them. The only difference is that these are like much larger than the ones that you remember seeing at the Bozen Tavern. Like uh, these are like pretty large, uh magical spheres that are being uh that they're doing and and and, and like they're fairly far away like i'll say that you know like they're like you know 60 70 feet away um they don't seem like they're their backs are kind of to you so uh they haven't really noticed you but you see them playing this game so you can continue to approach can do whatever you like. Silently. Is I know, I know, silently, I know. Silently, <laughs> silently yeah. right? Silently. 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 <laughs> okay. Just confirming, just confirming. Yeah. Slowly we turn. Step, step by step. step. Okay. Uh yeah, let's uh well are like you just running in sight silently or like trying to Oh uh, I'm gonna cast if we're if we're gonna start moving through this place. I'm gonna cast pass without a trace on us. Okay. And is there? Great. I mean, are yeah. there? Is there like a fortress or a building or a tent or a something Any kind that of path looks or like something else? Like, not yeah, that like you what? see as of now. As of yeah. now, it's like you're in a swamp. So I mean, there yeah. are yeah, you know, pieces of net of like disgusting looking uh, moss, Yum. large pieces of things you could try to hide behind. Like there are things you can hide, yeah. but it's. It's a damp, uh, swampy area. Okay. So I guess I guess the question that we now sort of need to decide is how. What's the plan, basically, generally, thematically, in terms of approaching Mergaxer? Are we here for a talk or a fight? Answers, right? Okay. It's but how do we how... get those answers? Find him first. So well, let's. If I may, let's, yes, please. Let's look at this from the angle by which Bruh I introduced mm. Mergaxer to us. Mm. Mergaxer is kind of a. a, 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 a by I, I assume that you all told me this information, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Mergaxer is a sort of leader and shelter for people who have flunked out of. Haven, and while the methods by which he has been sheltering people recently are extremely dubious, mm. he may have actually been doing some good to some for some of the students that he has sheltered in previous centuries. Oh. So that being the case, I think we should avoid a fight. What do if you also, do you also think we then can approach openly? If there was a reason to approach, and I think I have it. Oh, Lorene is about to fail their classes. They yeah. were targeting Lorene to join. 
I can become Lorene. I can cast shapeshift and make the appearance virtually that of Lorene. I can I can uh, run the gambit, and you all watching, protecting, guarding on the sides in however capacity. Then if this plan fails, what's the angle? Oh, murder everything in our sight till we get out I, safely. I do. I Well, perhaps now that we at least believe, like I would love to know more information, but we have enough information about what Mergaxer is doing mm-hmm. to make it extremely difficult for him to continue doing this on the grounds of Strixhaven, mm-hmm. let alone any other city in which they have expanded Bose and Tavern. Mm-hmm. We know enough to make it very difficult for this continue. So mm-hmm. I believe a talk would be nice to make it come to an end, but there are always other means available to stop things. Mm-hmm. And always he could just be honest about it. Like if, if these people are gonna fail and they don't wanna fail out, he could actually approach them honestly. Like you are in danger. What do yeah. you want to do? Like there's so many different ways we could do this. My only question is again, why? What what is the benefit of what is the benefit of being saved by Mergaxer versus well, trying to get on him. with your life? <laughs> we can figure it out. Mm-hmm. We ask him. Them. So the no. usual. I Talk yeah, I first, violence third. <laughs> Second. <Yeah>. Second. Second. <laughs> so are you <laughs> approaching straight up or is are you trying this Lorene shift thing? I w I definitely have the, yeah. If Gosrick mentioned like I, I I understand it does sound like it's a good plan. However, we also know that Mergaxer didn't officially sanction Lorene being abducted. So I don't believe that that's going to necessarily help us in this case. Sure, 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 sure. And I think uh, guys are like, no, that's totally fine. We can definitely also just explore silently until we find them, perhaps see where they might be, and then initiate a confrontation of verbal exchange. I right? also assume that anybody we're going to run into is a former Strixhaven student that's been brought here by Mark Gaxer. Right. You didn't even think to ask who Mark Gaxer was, what Mark Gaxer looked like. No. Right. That's so, on par for us. Uh, Eugenio, you're muted. I realize yeah. that now. We actually talked about that in the after show last week. Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. We did. <laughs> so I will mention that if if y'all do not want to approach, they will notice you. Uh, if yeah. if you if if you uh, I guess don't want to approach in one of these ways. So well, yeah, okay. it feels and, like and that we have to walk past them. So yeah, yeah. yeah. What are, I figure I, we're doing our little huddle, and they're just kind of like watching us. Yes, do what we no, know. there's there's one. No, 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 no. We're all behind one. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're they're really into this wizard gizzard game. Yeah. Okay. Um, and y'all are, they, are, are, are huddling. Also, are I, they, I, like, I cast Pass Without a Trace. Yeah. You know, we've got that surrounding us, muffling our blah, 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 blah. Are, are they, they people what, or like creature? What are the, I, I zoned a out human. for a second. Oh, human? They look Whoa. human, but, but you can't really tell any more about it because they're kind of far away. But like you, you you don't see any distinctive features that you can mark. F- are they other, um, like, wearing the same approach. colored robes as the, uh, the other in Esbra? I think we can just I approach them. Should. They're going to notice us, right? I believe that we. I I believe that if we want to, if we want to get to Mergaxer, we should simply ask to see Mergaxer. Perhaps we also are in need of salvation. And if things we go are. south, there's just two of them. It's. I'm, we need to tell them that we are in need of salvation because that seems to be what Mergaxer does. Once, mm. right? Yeah. And mm. Sleaze like looks at herself like. And all of these symbols of tear, what should I do with them? <laughs> Not that kind of salvation. Like, like, <laughs> salvation, like future career. Like, you know, like future yeah. career or salvation. Not, Not like professional soul. development. Not for, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Lux, you know, she, just. She's a literal paladin. She's being like, very literal. I, I yeah. would say, if possible, Sorry. look a little less combat ready. And she just because kind of looks at you like Dahani looks at herself also like <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all are, just, we're, like, y'all are like if we're trying to play a tiny part, we need to at least try to look the tiny part. 
Can I just be a bodyguard to get you here instead, instead okay. of a lie? Le- le- okay, le- let me uh, let me add one thing that might help your decision mm-hmm. a little bit. Please. Uh, you, <laughs> you notice that around these uh, people are uh, different kinds of weapons. Um, so, okay. like, these right. people don't have weapons on them, uh-huh. but there are weapons they are in guarded. the, okay, in yeah, the think- area. Yeah, there are I think we're good to here. approach. You can't play also, we had to get here, armed, so yeah, you got. Yeah, we have to, we have to get here. Yeah, we get here. Okay, then yeah, we're I, that. I I would say that we would ask. We would if they give us the chance. We would basically say like we're we're here to we're here to see Mergaxer because we can no longer go back to Strixhaven. Mm-hmm. Are we even? Which is, I mean, can I make a just like a general survivor check to see if we're still in Strixhaven? Like, where did that portal take us? Like, it's kind of just like. Uh, you, uh, I'll say that you are far enough away, like you're 20 miles away from the campus. Mm -hmm. Did this bring you back in, like back there? Uh, no, I'd say that you guys can all tell that when you went in there, you're exactly where you are, except the gate was missing. Gotcha. So Mm -hmm. unless there is a identical, like, I think the odds of there being an identical place that's like this over in Trixhaven are very low. Perfect. Thank you. Very low. Um, I guess we just approached then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like yes. the way you started laughing now. No, no, okay. no. It, it, yeah. this, 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 this. And hello, welcome. We're here. Hi, help. It's, hello. It's, 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 it's just funny. Um, <laughs> because, 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 like, uh, shock, shock, I was going to have Shaka just run over yes. there. If, yes. uh, yeah, actually, you know what? If no one does, uh, uh, does want do to sort of like do that. it first, I kind of uh, love that. <laughs> Uh, uh, Shock is going to say, I have an idea. Um, and he's going to start to walk over. Thank you. Um, after he, um, tries to, cause he does have some, uh, I forgot what it's called to, uh, disguise himself. Um, but just to be fun, I'm going to see how well he does it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. Okay, so oh god, it, it went from a seventeen to a seven, uh, real quick. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. So like he's basically trying to d- trying to look similar to um, what he saw uh, Bra look like. Um, uh, d- doesn't look too good though. Um, but he like he 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 like walks over and like says, "Hey, we're here for the shift change." Um, and then, uh, okay. and then, and then the, these, uh, two people, they, they, um, s- sorry, the, the, these, uh, sorry. I, I think I like, I, I, I kept saying two or three, there's three of them. Okay. <laughs> I do that all the time yeah. when I'm yeah, DMing yeah, yeah. and I'm like, that's a number that you can tell the difference between. I don't know why I said two or three. Are there uh, there's two or three? <laughs> two or three. Which exactly. is it? There's I two or three. All the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's, it's like, not like I'm saying there's 2002 and 2003. <laughs> literally 50% more. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so like uh, these three, as like uh, as like a shocker comes up, they turn around with their these sort of larger wizard gizzer catapults mm-hmm. and they hold them back and say halt. And uh, Shaka stops and like says, Uh, we were just here to replace you. They said that you were really tired and there needed oh, yeah. to be additional people watching this area really we've been here for a little while they didn't tell us that like there would be any a, any uh replacements and why are there so many of you and why is there a a, a uh is that a dire wolf wait what, what? um <laughs> and then like sh- and then like shaka sh- sh- shaka looks back at the rest of y'all uh with uh a look in his eyes like uh Help. <sighs> now you want help. Okay. Mm. <laughs> really? This was your plan? Is As that least... what you say to him? But no, works. she just <laughs> stares okay. at him like <sighs> like well. Oh, here we go. And Slisha starts walking, but she's walking with that that purpose, like one wrong word, y'all, one wrong word.
Yeah. Uh, yeah, we follow. We just yeah, sort of close so. the distance. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Fingertips okay. cackling with energy. Okay, this guy's getting nervous. Yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> and uh, they, 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 they like again say, halt. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we kind of haven't halted, we, though. So? <laughs> we're, we, we're approaching, but. No, I think we're walking like toward them, right? I yeah. mean, yes. Slowly ish. Look. We, so we yeah. just a slow, <laughs> slowly it's a slow stroll. It's, 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 a slow, it's, a, it's a it's a saunter. It's a saunter, um, exactly. It's a casual, <laughs> casual, non non aggressive saunter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and as as you keep approaching, um, you see these uh, three uh, people. They're like sort of trembling hmm. um, as you're getting closer, um, and they uh, they break for it. Uh, they. I don't know if we can have that. They yeah, run like they, to the. They run. Oh. They run. Oh. They run to the sides. Ooh, I don't know about that. How far away are they? When they start running. Uh, how close did you approach? Pretty close. Yeah, I mean, we should start mm -hmm. walking. I mean, to be clear, are they running to escape us or running to like grab those weapons Blank, that you? Blanket, you yeah, just see like, them running. We just see them running. Okay. 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 running. Okay. You just okay. see them uh, running. They're, fair enough. They're they're they are weapons all around, so you can't tell if they're running specifically. Oh, okay. They're sort of okay. Okay. something. Gotcha, gotcha. Then I'm going to cast think... whole person of fourth level. Nice. Okay. Do you, can you get hit multiple targets on yeah. that? Yeah, let me, let me just yeah. It. Perfect, perfect, perfect. At higher let levels, when you cast this using a spell slot of third level or higher, say, you can target yeah. one additional humanoid for each slot above second. So nice. I what can is the... get all of them. A wisdom save of DC of 16. Nice. Okay. So let me roll that for these three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they ran so, for it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they actually, all, it's really interesting. They all passed. Damn. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Damn all of them. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's very unlikely. <laughs> um, yes. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, they, they uh, did, did all pass. So they continue to run. Um, at this point, they're kind of running in this um, mm -hmm. kind of meandering way. It definitely does There's not zigzagging. look like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it does not look like they are doing some like trained like run and gather these weapons and sure. taste these uh pools. It looks like they are running in a random like where do we go, what do we do kind of way. Okay. Even worse, they're panicking. Um yeah, they're, I, yeah. No, just just uh yeah, uh at that Virgil just kinda yells out like we're we're here to see Mergaxer. Wait. Well, we don't know where he is. What? Isn't this his abode? This is a boat? What's an abode? An abode? Where uh, he lives. Home? Where, where he, he lives. Lair? <laughs> oh, um, don't say as that. As you look, yeah. <laughs> as you look closer, um, you can see that these folks look uh, um, pretty seasoned, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um uh you know as as you get kind of a uh closer <laughs> closer look to them um and like uh, they're, they're like well i mean Mergaxer's here but we don't know exactly where he is um, oh okay are, are are you coming to join the cause we, we yes we can't go back we we can't go back to yeah. strixhaven okay because you because i mean you didn't halt um usually people just halt <laughs> we, we we haven't had anyone actually just Keep I, walking. Well, I mean, didn't know what one made. of the reasons one of the reasons that we can't go back to Strixhaven is that we're honestly not very good at following rules, and it's they have a lot of rules there. So many a rules. lot. No lies detected in any of that. Yeah, I know. I'm. I mean, when I was there, like, I don't know, 150 See, years ago, like, it. it was just. Were you in the Quanders College? Did they make you understand. sign a very convoluted contract as well? Because that thing was so unethical in its design and its practices. That whole school is unethical. Yeah. We hear right. you. We, you guys we, are talking my talk. I'll tell you what. We're just, we might we're, be. We're, we're just, we're here to, we're, we're here to join the cause. It, it seemed like this is the only place that we could go. Great. Who, who, who uh, brought you in? He calls, you go was by the name, bruh. Who? Bruh? Uh, 
I guess it must be someone new. I mean, we've been here for a while, but they're always bringing in new folks. So, mm. um, but like y'all are recently from Strix, like you just got removed from Strixhaven. Yeah, it was kind of like this full ride scholarship thing, and they just we just really uh, 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 underestimated how hard the work was going to be. Mm-hmm. Also, okay. it felt like they tried to use us up kind of bit as a. Uh, token project for their outreach program and not really a lot of support behind it. It felt very hollow. Okay. All right. Uh, I, you know, uh, that sounds, uh, sounds like them um, to, to be sure. Uh, okay. So, so then why is this one lying about wanting a shift change then in the points to Shaka? Shaka doesn't yeah. say anything. He, he, it was just, he, he, he performing I, arts. He, clearly, he was not very, he's not very good at it. It, it. You know, there was a thing, I think, called the method, and it, it was something, again, it just really didn't, really didn't uh, pick it up. It, 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 let's just say Strixhaven wasn't for us, and we don't really know where to go from here. And now we're obviously hoping that you can help us. Okay. Well, I mean, there's definitely I can, like you can go, you know, to like the new recruit area. Like we could definitely bring you there mm. um, b- because we have to continue to guard this area that, you know, to be honest, hardly no one comes to. Um, but the people that do come do halt. So, you know, y- Again, you know, you know I... like a, you must be some new generation of uh, students here. I, I, I do have to admit that disobedience does seem to be baked into the core of who we are. I must apologize. Okay. All right. Well, the, uh, the, uh, so like, uh, you, you like see them point s- sort of like t- to, 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 to this area where like there's, um, basically two different sort of like areas that kind of look like they are going into caves. Mm. Um, oh. You know, uh, and uh, and like they like say, yeah, it's it's in one of those caves. How do, what, just which? one of them? Do they circle back? Do they connect? Well, I mean, you can choose one, and <laughs> uh, you know, maybe maybe you'll pick the right one. But do you know which one? Well, yeah, but there's just a little thing that we do with the new recruits, you know, you, 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 you know, just 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 to uh, get our jollies on a little bit. I really just I honestly just felt like hazing was more of a Strixhaven thing. And I was really hoping that we put that behind us. Honestly, it feels so childish, especially well, if you've been here for a hundred some years. Well, like for there, it's it's like more called having. Right. I don't know what hazing is, but but it's more <laughs> having. Um, but like I think I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to make a survival check. Uh, yes, you can. Smart. Like I am looking for like either most traveled cave or footprints that go into one cave, come out of a cave, and then go into another cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fourteen. Wow, fourteen. Okay. Anybody else wrong? I'll, I'll I'll follow that survival as well. I'm, yeah, mm-hmm. you, you you guys can propose any other rules. Holy God! I've got a nat twenty on it. Yeah, I can't I can't see the rolls. I, oh, I, 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 I it's I'm real. It's too, real though. I can't see the rolls. I can real. see it. Thank I you. Can see it. Thank you for verifying. Okay. Okay. So uh, what? Uh, the survival. You, so like Dahani got a fourteen. Mm. He got a um, thirty. What, ding dang one. A 31. Okay. 20 plus 11. Okay. Anybody else ro- rolling anything? Or you guys good? Okay. All right. Uh Tahani, um, yeah, you are trying your best to discern if there's any difference between these uh two uh, caves to you, like a cave's a cave, right? Like they look pretty much exactly is it is right. it kind of darkish here? Like is it is it low light? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean it's it's I mean it's not like dark, but it's 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 not it's like, I don't know what the word medium light, I guess you'd mm. say. Uh, it's like a weird way to describe it. It's it's mid light. Okay. <laughs> mid light. Okay. Um, 
Gosric, though, you see, like, you look at the cave and you see, um, you know, it's really faint, but you see on like one of the caves, it literally is a faint uh, outline that's, that says new recruits. On oh, okay. caves. Uh, very, very faint, but uh, which are 31 can see it. And it's, on I think right so. Yeah. From all the way out here, from all like the 200 way feet away, I'm like, that one. All the way out. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, now, let's go. N- now, do you point this out to these uh, gentlemen, or uh, do you just go? Uh, I think I, uh, I I say, I was like, it's that one. Lucky guess. Go ahead. Hey. You'll see. <laughs> it was right. a lucky guess. It was extremely lucky as we are walking away. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and with that, y'all, uh, I think that's where we will end uh, today's episode with heading to the new recruiting area. Uh, this is <laughs> such a funny episode. I had so much, <laughs> I had, I had so much more uh, stuff, but you know, gotta roll with how it goes, y'all. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, if you have any questions for our characters, uh, put the word "question" followed by our question in the chat for our characters only, um, not for us. Um, and while you are putting in those, uh, we will go through our outros and talk about uh, what we're doing, including our wonderful Gen Con show um, that's coming up real soon. Yeah. Um, so let's start in reverse order uh, with Tanya. Oh, hi. Uh, yes, I'll be at Gen Con. I'll be there all four days. So in addition to our live show, we'll be a Black Dice Society live show at one o'clock on Thursday. Our whole cast will be there. And Jim Sub will be there uh, guesting as Lord Soth. So yeah. uh, if you want to see all of us there for once in one place, for the first and last time, because we only have eight episodes left. Um, and then, of course, Rivals at 6 o'clock on Friday. Yeah, if yeah. you are attending and are a person of color, there is a BIPOC social mixer Thursday at 6.30 and a networking mixer if you want to meet people from other studios, other companies, other RPG folks. Friday at 6.00. Uh, which means I won't be there because rivals. Um, and then we come back and it's, you know, season finale of rivals that next Sunday, mm-hmm. black dice society after we all recover from Gen Con. And I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. I'm stressed. I'm in full travel panic mode. So yeah, cipher of tear is where you can find me for everything. Sweet. Uh, Eugenio. Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hens. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at DM Jazzy Hens. Sorry, I've been a little distracted at the end of this uh, episode. Uh, y'all, if you're in chat, please speak up if you win the giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've gone through quite a few polls this week. It's okay. Uh, where can you find me this week? I'll be live on Tuesday, hanging out, playing some Portal 2 with Sam. Uh, that's going to be a good time. I think we should probably finish the story mode this week because uh, we've been going Maybe. pretty well. Uh, Thursday, I will not be streaming because I will be on my way to Gen Con. I'm only going to be there for a couple of days, but you can catch me on Thursday night from 10 to midnight uh, on Thursday, playing a game of D&D with some folks from Cobalt Press. Uh, I'm bringing my character back from uh, the old the show from last year, earlier this year. Time's funny. Uh, but I'm bringing my character from Courts of the Shadow Fae. Uh, me and Rocket Fox will be there from the original cast. We've got some new folks joining us, and we're going to explore Cobalt Press's new Book of Ebon Tides. So that's Thursday night at 10. Then Friday afternoon at... I. Mm. Follow me on Twitter for the exact time, but I'm doing a world building panel with some Cobalt Press folks on Friday at some time of the day that is before the Rivals show. Uh, so you can come and hang out uh, with me and Dot and I, I believe uh, Amanda and Celeste and a bunch of other awesome folks, uh, maybe Daisy, to talk about world building. And then as Tanya mentioned, uh, six o'clock Friday night, off we go with uh, with Masood beside the high the screen. I'm excited about it. So that's me for this week. So Brian. Uh, hi, I am Brian, aka Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, you can mostly catch what's going on with me by following my social media. Uh, I will be streaming uh, Tuesday and Saturday. I will not be here with these lovely folks on Sunday. I will not be at Gen Con. I will miss I will miss hanging out with them, but it's okay because next the week after that, we'll be back for the finale. Um, other things going on for me this week. Uh, recently, I think just yesterday, um, I... Uh, it was part of a documentary on gaming 
video games and gaming culture. Um, and it was on BBC Radio 4. Mm -hmm. And you can go to their website and still get information on that. Um, Kaza McDonald did a documentary talking about essentially like 50 years since Pong came out and they were talking to various people. They were going over the BBC archives about how they had reported on video games throughout the year. Spoiler alert, not very well. Sure. And um, yeah, and that was a, that's a fun listen. So you can listen and hear me talk about um, essentially identity gaming and uh, whether your in-game avatar kind of reflects upon you and seeing yourself in games. And that's it. The rest of it will just be me streaming and, and talking okay. about things on Twitter, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Right. Masood. That's so cool. Uh, and then there's me. Hey, I'm Masood. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodvoi, M-A-H-R-U-D-V-O-I. Um, I have a very cool week this week. I am so lucky and honored to be uh, GMing our live show at the one and only Gen Con. If you're going, we'd love to see you all there. We'll be in rooms uh, 101 to 103, um, as Nightbot tells you. And um, yeah, we start 6 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a blast. We have B Dave sitting in on us. We have uh, Mark Mir also joining us. Uh, and I... I've been scheming. I, I don't want to give too much away, but I've been thinking a lot about this for a long time. Uh, and I'm excited to just have you all there for the ride and have a good time. Um, so yeah, if you're going to Gen Con, go check that out. Um, if you're not, you're dead to me. Sorry, not true, but maybe Whoa. just this week. <laughs> just I, I'll just go now. Dang. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, God. Uh, but if you want to know more about me or find out more about my cats, uh, you can just go to my Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Latia. Hi. Um, basically, everything else that everybody who is going to Gen Con has said. Um, I'm doing two other panels at Gen Con this year, one about crowdfunding uh, with Backer Kit and one about being a woman or a femme in the uh, TTRPG community. Um, I don't know when those are because my brain is soup, mm -hmm. um, but I'll have a graphic or something up before Gen Con actually starts because I'll be there. Uh, you can find me at booth 2519 or in rooms uh, ICC 243 and 244 with Monty Cook Games, uh, who I work for. Um, and other than that, I will just be wandering. So if you see me, come and say hello. Um, I might have stickers. So stickers are cool. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else. Nothing. Twitter, there, me, hi. Me too. All right. Uh, and I'm Sharif. Um, you catch me at SharifJackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, uh, Jackson.com, and Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, I will not be at Gen Con, unfortunately, um, but I will be doing a Twitch stream on Gen Con's account Thursday um, at 8 p.m. Central, uh, math and science and TTRPGs. So I'll talk about how to incorporate different concepts, uh, which I did in this episode as well, um, which some folks picked up, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so like I'll be talking about how to drop things in there um, and, you know, just like add some uh educational stuff to your to your uh to your games um so you could check me out uh there and, and of course i'll be cheering on the rivals from from home um can't wait to see what uh masood has baked up it'll be fun um all right so let's hop into some of these questions that we've gotten out of the chat uh looks like the first question for salise uh will you ever trust shaka to make business decisions again you say that like i trusted him to begin with <laughs> <laughs> at all narc, I guess remember. to be fair this was a business decision that was only for shaka that doesn't matter True. his actions re reflect on the rest of the rivals is that the rule that we're doing now <laughs> right. everything you do reflect with that rule everyone <laughs> no, that's just uh, that's just Celise being harder on Shaka than anyone else. Yeah. Okay. Live it. Uh, question. I'm assuming this is to Kent. Is all Kent's clothing monogrammed? Not yet. <laughs> Soon. Okay. Perfect answer. Just in, in the process. <laughs> in process. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, 
uh, not sure who this question would go to, but we can see if anyone can answer. Uh, for whoever decorated Troll School Manor, maybe, maybe it'll be duo actually. Uh, no, so. it was it's it's, it's it's a it's a joint effort. So Dahani's art, like there's um there's a big piece of art of Candlekeep mm -hmm. over the main fireplace in in the in room because that's what Dahani was doing while they were all at Candlekeep. Remember, mm -hmm. it that's was right. what yeah. painting right. painting punts punches and pints or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a and then like there's a whole lot of like art pieces that Dahani has done that decorate the mm. halls of Troll Skull Manor. And we spent um, last season working with Kin um about re getting like all new furniture inside the actual oh, yeah. like, like it's school. very cozy i yeah. feel like even though we talked about artistic music like we have been very slowly swapping out whatever mm -hmm. the pre yeah. like yeah. whatever the previous stuff was there we've been slowly swapping it out with like different quality different quality but mm -hmm. raising the raising the game troll school yeah, is a gem it's very homey and cozy in there yeah, yeah. i like that very popular like that. destination in Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. yeah i will say that Duo has put up at least one thing though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it's a mess. <laughs> uh, but it's up there somewhere. It's, it's like not in the main room, not, not, not in the main one, but you know, he, uh, it's a secret. <laughs> yeah. It's a secret. Uh, question for all the rivals. How wary are you of doors? I wouldn't say now. Uh, I'd say in general. Yeah. In general. Are you worried I, about I a just, door? I just assume every door has a shiny behind it that I can touch and go to a different plane. Now. I mean, as an adventurer, I, we all have a, a wariness about doors, but um, I'm kind of with the honey at this point. <laughs> like, if every door does not transport me to a different dimension, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, talk a little bit about that in the after show, this uh, gate thing, which <laughs> was great. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so yeah, if if you're not a patron, if you, if you don't support us, uh, make sure... Uh, to join and you can get access to our after shows, DM notes, all that stuff. If you don't um, support us on Patreon, as yeah. well, thank you for your support <laughs> in other places. I support liked us. it though. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, uh, I liked uh, it a lot. <laughs> I, I knew what you were thinking. <laughs> This is this is why Masood does the Patreon. I'm so, so, sorry, sorry. Why, uh, why, uh, Brian? I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, everybody. Thanks. Uh, see y'all. Hopefully, um, those of you that can make it to like a Gen Con, thanks. Um, and uh, season finale is coming up. Um, who are we raiding? Imperial. Imp yeah. Yay. Yes, we are raiding Imperial. So make sure to stay on the Twitch and send that rival's love over to Imperial. Um, all right. Who does awesome streams? Yeah. All right. See you over at Imperial, y'all. Hold on, please, for raid incoming or outgoing. Please hold for incoming raid. Outgoing raid. <laughs>